what type of situation you got yourself into, Mr. Happy Hands. What's up, everybody? It's me, Dempsey, and I'm playing silver again. Or gold. I think I'm playing gold. Whatever. Okay. Um, you're a rookie trader. Alright, this guy basically talks about things if you can't read or something like that, like I couldn't at the time. Um, he wanders around the entire town. Then finally, at the very end, it brings you into his house and gives you a present. Um, before that, he discusses how dangerous it is to walk off on your own. Even though I'm about to go do that in a little while, he made a joke. Good. And there's some fat piece of lard standing out on an island out there. Good. Yes, that's your house. Small gift. And you get the map. This is completely optional. I mean, if you didn't even cross this path, you would have never gotten a map. I forget if he... When you like in the updated version of this game, I think if you just walk by him, it'll trigger an alert and it'll just start talking to you. But anyways... I think I need to heal up. Uh, she has some long hair. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that's long hair. Where is it? I don't know, I always pictured her hair being long instead of ponytails or something. Looks like both. Why is there a computer to monitor here? And a bunch of random Pokeballs. I mean, like, they're gray too, so they're like dead. This man always looked very mis like mysterious and creepy. He's wearing like a top hat and a trench coat. Wait, is he wearing sandals? He's gonna wear some sandals! I guess he is somewhat near a lake or a beach or something. Nevertheless, let's continue. You can't buy any Pokeballs yet because that would make you very overpowered for, uh, um, your rival battle. Uh, very good. I usually just collect these because later in the game you need them. This guy always looked like a, he looks like a mole. Like, look at his nose, it's just kind of like sticking out there. I think it's either a beard, or they're trying to make, or just a shadow, but to me it just looks like an extended nose. And it gives you a berry. Good. Ugh. I think you have to wait a full uh, day and night cycle for berries to reappear. I love how the ocean, or not even the ocean, just water in this game looks. It just kind of like moves a little bit. And yes, yeah, the Kakuna. Pretty bad Pokemon. I don't even think uh, B drills that good. It just looks cool. But when I was a little kid, I didn't really know that. I just went on to how cool they looked. Didn't really care about too many stats. Stats didn't really matter to me. Even though that's really what this game's about. But anyways, continuing on. All these things are extremely annoying considering the fact that they'll just continuously use Harden until you're just doing one point of damage on them. It's excellent. I don't know. But you, there you go. You can't cross this, uh, can't go this way yet because these two are having a little fun session. And tackle. I like their Pokemon, they, they, they just look like some... It just looks like a Pokemon, it doesn't even look like... No, it doesn't even look like a Pokemon, it looks like some sort of winged dragon. I like it though. 
because nostalgia fluids are running through my brain. Got my nice flip back hat. All cool. Yeah. Continue. You know, when I was a kid, I just never trained at all, so I, I wasn't very good at the game. I just kind of like ran away from fights all the time. Even though they're boring. <sighs> there we go. Oh wait, our rival won't stand a chance. Alrighty, and we don't get a phone call quite yet, but we get, I think right when we leave Mr. Pokemon's house, we get one. Oh, look at that thing. Look at it, it's just like, it looks weird. Like it has balls for feet. It's weird. Like how do you walk? Do you, like how do you do that? You strut? It's impossible. Unless he's just stationary all like 24-7. Which I guess he is since he's just like laying in the grass waiting for a poor unexpected person to walk by. And continuing on. I grab that berry once I get in here. Hello, hello. It must be Moops. Uh, I am. What's the problem? Do you need me to connect those power cords into that monitor over there? Is this a nuclear reactor uh, facility going on here? I believe those are cords. In the top right hand corner. I'm not even reading what it says. But I always thought it kind of looked like a rug or something. Which it might be. Oak. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm Oak. Good. Aren't you... okay? Yes. Good. Why are you looking through my stuff? How do you know I have a rare Pokemon? It's not like I'm just showing you this. You like grabbed me and started fiddling through my backpack. Call the police on you. You don't understand, do you? You can go to jail. And you want me to go out in the wild and get torn apart by other Pokemon? Thanks. Why don't you just get like some high-tech satellite? Go through an entire world and take pictures of everything and see what you can get. You know how to send people out there, so you might die. Yes. Give me a rub. Thank you. And if you look over here, I think he talks about sing coins. Yeah, a whole pile of strange coins. And I think he's talking about the region from the first game. I think he's can't though or something. It's a big computer. Hmm, it's broken. You have this giant piece of technology it has all these wires connected to it. Probably holding all this memory, important files, all this crazy stuff. And you just gotta leave it broken in the corner. Have fun. We go out here, somebody calls us. Professor Elm's like freaking out. He had a bad trip on LSD or something. I don't know. But anyways, somebody stole his Pokemon, so now he's just having a bad day. I mean, it's not like there's a, a million other ones that he could catch. Because he said he just went out and caught him. Yes, it's a fruit berry. Uh, poison cure berry. Alright. Let's keep going. I think, yeah, it's a pretty easy trip back. All you have to do is hop over the little hills. I thought they looked like fences when I was a youngin. But I think it's actually, maybe it is a fence. I don't know. It, it kind of looks like a hill, kind of. I don't know. The more you know. Hop another. Continuously head my way back. Didn't even run through a single Pokemon. Excellent. And we made our rival. 
Doubt that too much. I mean, I mean, the guy's just standing outside all day. Isn't anybody gonna just be like, "Hey, kid, you can't be here. You're looking suspicious on government property." It's just not right. And here we have our first Pokemon battle. Alright, sit down, Tigrita. Oh, good. The one that's better than this one. You have a 50 50 chance, and he picked right. He messed himself up with that one. Using Growl is an idiotic move in this match. And then again, I'm a powerhouse right now since I'm like level 8. You know, I'm only a wimpy level 5. Alright. Come on. Hit me. Alright, there we go. You're dead. You know, isn't this type of thing illegal in our universe? Like as in chicken fights or dog fights? That's illegal. But this, oh no, 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 this is fine. You know, just get a bunch of animals and put them in balls and throw them at each other and attack each other. Yes, I'm, I'm just in thrilled that I'm at one. Have fun with that. And he shoves you out of the way. You have tears in your eyes. You're running home to mommy. This chick's just standing out in the woods, just waiting to get killed. Yeah, I see those ledges and your clean makeup. What is this, the 60s? Get a like. He's wearing green makeup too. Oh boy. No, that's good. He's a cross dresser. Moving. Moving. Alright, good. He didn't talk to me. That weirdo down there in the grass usually talks to you at some point. And you go to talk to Professor Elm. Name your rival. I don't know what I'm gonna name him. What should I name him? Uh. Okay, yes, continuing on. Hurry up. His name shall be... What should it be? How about... This. Pump. Let's do it. Alright, so Pump was his name. Thanks for helping me investigate. Yes, no problem. With your blue makeup, Alright, talk to me, doctor. Yes. Nobody's gonna use that other Pokemon, uh, Professor, or well, why don't you just let me, uh, you know, have it. Yes, he's having a seizure, or a stroke or something. Thing that I have a Pokedex, you know, a Pokemon egg. Oh yeah, I guess he did give it to me. I, did, I didn't read any of it, I just clicked. But yeah. That's cool about this game, you get an egg, and you run around with it for a, a few million years, and then it finally hatches into a Tokopi. I never really used it because it starts at like level 5, while all your other Pokemon are like level 30. I think it actually does evolve in this game. Um, yeah, it does. It has like little sparkly wings. This dude's gonna give me Pokeballs, I think. Yeah. No, just one? You know, you must have a pretty good, like, shot to throw a Pokeball, because you have to, like, hit your thing. Your enemy. Whatever. I don't even- Oh, no, this guy. I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? I don't know. I don't... know. Oh, fine then. Anyway, if you want to catch- Oh, he's completely and utterly hurt. He's crushed. That's all he does all day. There's a little slick hair and a little wing in the front. Way to go. Went without a scratch, look at that. Professional Pokemon runner. 
Well, that ended that streak. <sighs> I'm not catching this one, that's for sure. <sighs> mm, scratch. Come on. Nah, I'm just gonna two shot these guys now. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Dad on. Let's look at our map. How do I look at my map? An item in your pack now. No, that's not it. Is this it? Yeah, there we go. This has all sorts of info. These are all the gem leaders and let's take a little peek at the map. 356. That isn't right. Whatever. There's a nice little map. I don't think it's on there. Let's listen to Perfect. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to. I don't have the radio yet. I'll get that later. And then, when you get the radio, you can, like, listen to the, some sweet tunes. Oh, dang it. Alright, exit. Oh, wait, hold up. I want to see if I can change the uh, layout on my uh, frames. I love doing that. Um, oh, this is some old school stuff right there. Uh, let's see. I like this one. It's, no. Yeah. I like it. Alright, accidentally stopped recording for a second, so I had to get back into position. Alright, anyways, if you go up in here, all these nimwits are gonna talk about catching Pokemon and how it's hard. Making you crushed, knowing the fact that you're probably gonna get smushed by rock in, in the near future. Wow, those. Anyways, you can catch some, uh. I think Sparrow up there. He's alright. I'm just kidding, he's bad. Either way, you continuously move on. That idiot over there, standing next to the berry tree, is just waiting for nighttime. And then when it gets to be nighttime, when you talk to him, he'll just say something stupid. As in like, I'm gonna wait for day, even though it was day just a couple of yeah, whatever. I don't even care. And there we go. If you've just continuously trained this one Pokemon, that's all nice and nifty. But eventually I'll catch another one, because if you just have one, you're going to get beat down. When that Pokemon dies, or faints, or whatever, you're going to have a pretty bad time. Because if you have a no Pokemon, or another one that's extremely weak, eh, it's not going to go in too well. Yeah, this idiot's talking about how he stabbed his Pokemon with a poison barb, and he had to heal it with an antidote. And this guy just looks stoned. I'd like to buy... No, you don't have anything good. I don't think I have anything good either. I like how there's little freezers. Lots of Pokemon merchandise. Is there anything for people? Like, what happened if I needed, like, a hamburger and just some, like, a salad? I might die. I have to eat, like, grass or something while my Pokemon's eating, like, I don't know, potions or something. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. Alright, see you guys later.